So here we have in the diagram OCD is an isosceles triangle. So OCD, okay, means that this side and this side are the same, or this angle and this angle are the same. That's what it means. Now with OC equal to OD equal to 10, okay, as we can see here, 10 and 10, okay. Now the angle COD is 0 0.8, so this is 0 0.8, okay. The points A and B on AC, so on OC and OD respectively, are joined by an arc of a circle center O and radius 6. Okay, great. So simply, these are the information we have on this diagram. Now part 1, we have to find the area of the shaded region. So by observation, to find this area, we must first find the area of the whole thing. So number 1, we have to find the area of triangle OCD. So how would you find that? We can simply use our formula, which is half times sine of the angle in between, which is 0 0.8, and times the two sides around the angle, that will be 10 times 10. That will be part one of the question. 10 times 10 times 0 0.5 times sine of 0 0.8. So here we have to use radians. That will be 35.8678. Now let's move on to part two of the question. So here we have, sorry, again, same part we have to move on to the next one. So to find only this part, since, since we have everything now, we have to minus this one. So number two, we have to minus the sector OAB. So pretty easy again, that will be half R square theta is the angle. So let's do that. Half is half, obviously. R square is 10, so it is six squared now and times theta, which is 0 0.8. Let's see, what do we get? Half times 6 squared times 0 0.8. That will be 14.4 as your value for this area. So we have the whole thing, we have this. To get this, we take everything, we minus this to get this. If that makes sense, right? I hope so. So number one will be 35.8678 minus this one that we don't want to get the one that we, we want. So 35.8678 minus 14.4, that should be 21.5. And that will be centimeters square. Now let's move on to the next part. So here we have to find the perimeter of the shaded region. So let's see how can we find this. Again, we have to know the perimeter it means the distance around that object. So by definition, P is going to be equal to AC, which is 4, plus CD, we don't know, plus BD, which is 4 as well, and plus AB, that we don't know. So we have to find two unknowns to satisfy this equation to find the value of our perimeter. So first thing first, let's find CD. CD is this one. Now we can see clearly that we have a triangle, right? We have these two sides, we have the angle in between, we're trying to find the third side, we can simply use the cosine rule. So, so let me write this down. So cosine of the angle is going to be equal to what? 10 square plus 10 square minus um, CD square over the value of 2 times 10 times 10. Okay, so let's simplify and solve for the value of, of CD. So cos of 0 0.8 times 2 times 10 times 10, that will be 139.3413. So 1, so 10 square plus 10 square, that will be 200 minus CD square. CD square will be what? 200 minus 139.3413, that will be 60.6587. So from here, we can find the value of CD. CD will be square root of that value. That will be 7.79. Okay, so that will be CD as required. And finally, we have to find the value of AB. Pretty easy. AB is the arc length. And we know by definition, the length of arc is equal to R times theta, which is the angle. Radius is equal to 6, and the angle is 0 0.8, that 
that will be what? So let's check. 6 times 0 0.8, that should be 4.8 as the value. So let's, let's add everything together to find the value of our perimeter. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 7.79, plus 4.8, that should be 20.59. Okay, so that will be part two of this question in regards to circular measure.